Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where we are getting some interesting challenges. They're not exactly the challenges that I would like to do like going higher or faster or anything like that. They are like this one with a whole bunch of swiveling and five meter distance. Uh, so there is, it is pluses and minuses. First of all, it is a challenge and so that's interesting. I mean, it, it is difficult. Uh, on the other hand, it's not going where I want to go. On the plus side, the story is less annoying now, especially since we're not getting as many of those videos, and it doesn't seem critical to watch them anyway. Um, and yet, on the other hand, this this whole career mode seems longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so we're going to take some more time to get to the creative mode, and maybe that's okay if you know, things are, the challenges continue to be interesting, right? Also, one good thing is we do seem to have a lot of parts to work with. Uh, we've got a beer barrel available now, too, so they certainly aren't shorting us on interesting parts, like potentially a space shuttle, so yeah, we've got a lot of variety to work with, so that's good. But alright, I'm going to try out this Boston Dynamics one because somebody requested that I try it again. And we'll see how far we get, and then we'll go to some of the other challenges and see what people have to say over here to give us even more of them. Alright, but I think maybe I was approaching it wrong and we should... Let's not have a head. Do we need a head? Not really. We just need to reach a horizontal distance. <laughs> I need to... Focus on the requirements, and not be... It only requires a swivel. It doesn't even... It just says that we can't use stuff from boosters, engines, or fireworks. So... We could use bike parts, even, right? I mean... Yeah. We don't even need the mannequin parts, technically speaking. I could just use PVC pipes. But, I still can only do things in 2D. So, that's the rub. But it has to be said that the mannequin parts are not the most stable things. They're very longish. Right? And... Yeah, any way you look at it, they're not ideal. Uh, but... You know, instead of having... We, we could have one leg like this and one leg like this. I don't need the hip part, really. Hmm. But I would like a larger sort of torso part to accommodate the... That's a wide stance. Um, to accommodate the hinges. Yeah, I don't like that torso part. Maybe we can use something completely different. Like a bike wheel. <laughs> a walking bike wheel. Stuff of nightmares. But we need more stability than the feet provide. How about... Rocket fins? I mean, those provide ultimate stability, right? And also, draw down our center of mass a bit. A lower center of mass would be good. Hmm. And they're like boots. They're like boots. Just really, really special boots. Oops. I feel like maybe I should rotate the hinges the opposite direction, but let's see. Let's just see how this works or not works. All right. Oh, I have to click launch. Oh, it's still flopped there. Um, they're like going like that. That's not helpful. Hmm. Let's see. Steer with left, right. Yeah. Well, steering is not our problem. It's just the direction of rotation that's our problem. But we can't rotate it in the opposite direction. That stand. The stand might be even better than the fins. Let's 
it's a little bit wider. Let's just move this down a bit. There's no need for it to be that high. But yeah, we can't really shift like that. I, I, I guess maybe I should use... Oh, that is steering with up-down. That's left-right. Huh. A launch. Can't even see it do anything. I think mounting it high like that is no good. Yeah, it doesn't understand what, how to do that. Okay. Maybe a lighter part on top as sort of the root. Well, the bike wheel is actually not that heavy. Okay, hold on, let me just experiment with the steering here. Oh, it's tilting. Uh, we're sort of getting somewhere there. Hmm. Let me put extra stability down here. I don't know. Oh, it's tilting. Ah! Flop. Hmm. Hold on. Maybe we can move like this. Hold on. Oh, they can cross. I didn't even think about that. I didn't say anything about it having to stand up. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god. What have we done? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh... Okay... Come on... I swear, it's getting closer to the camera, isn't it? I mean, it's gonna cross that white line in front there. See, it's crossed that white line. I don't know, I, uh, I feel like we're covering some distance. Oh, it's, it's red one meter, okay. All right, I'll just take some time here. We, we're sort of doing like a swimming stroke, maybe. Um, three meters. No, no, that's the wrong way. No, don't do that. Come back. Okay. Uh, make sure to go this way. Yes. Oh no, it flopped the other way. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we lost ground. Okay, that was a good one. Five meters. We got it. Okay. I'm sick of this thing. Took like five minutes. Foot piece. Well, tell me about it. Okay. Epic even. Well, let's see. Somebody tried to tell me about tags, but I couldn't care less about the tags. <laughs> uh, don't don't try, try to tell me about the tags. Uh, I've only made fun of the tags and I'll just pick the colorful ones. That'll work. I'm not trying to optimize. Made some money. Continue. Super big rocket. The booster. Yes. I need to talk to the person who gave me that... That Boston Dynamics one, right? Out now. Uh, great, give it to me, please. Super Big Booster is exactly what, like, astronomers would call it. Oh, I hope I can cough up the money. I mean, it's only fair. 
Let's see how much his super big booster costing. I mean, if he's got to sell it though, it should have come up with a better name. Big booster, 189. I mean, I've wanted bigger SRVs. It better be big. Okay. And I thought it was supposed to be super big booster. Did I get a substandard booster? I wonder what small gas bottle will do for us. So, in response to my question, it seems like we do get some sort of method of timing the engine ignitions later on, and I just don't have that yet, so... Staging, proper staging is going to take some time. I guess something uses gas. Maybe maybe those tanks will give us more efficient propulsion with the liquid engines. I guess we don't have anything with the person who gave us that challenge. I guess that's the end of that stream. The robots. Robots, yeah. Yeah. The robot person is done, I guess. Which sucks, because I was looking forward to more things, but... Okay, um... We have 138, so I don't think it's enough. I need some new challenge. Explode the rocket by crashing it into the ground. Really? Um, yeah, I think... Let's see who might have something... Yippee. Art Curator. Belt tip pens. I don't understand the museum thing, so hold on. Um, well, alright, let's... we want some challenge. Let's see if this person has anything. I love felt tip pens. I do. Well, I mean, it depends on whether you get good felt tip pens, you know. Hard time using these parts when you're building heavier rockets, except for the super big booster. Liquid fuel is better in pretty much any situation. <laughs> it is. I don't want... Oh! Finn knows! Well, okay. I forgive you for taking my time, but... I actually don't want fins on the nose. Does anybody want fins on the nose? Maybe as a payload thing. I don't know. Alright, let's fish. Who knows? I'm severely contemplating talking to the surfer. Oh my god, it's still going. Stool. Well, they used a stool for the Saturn 1B, so maybe. You never know. Okay, um, not the toys. Performing stunts? Stunt rocket, yes. Pretty good idea. I can make one loop. Thanks. Stunt robot. Stunt robot now? Sounds interesting. I was looking for a stunt rocket thing, but... Oh, he's going on with the swivel thing. Robot rocket that does like three, no, five loops. Can we go back to the three? <laughs> That's probably what I would say. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, all right, now we're talking. First of all, stunt rocket. Let's do the one looping. Let's also test, uh, um, what you call it? The engine, the new big booster. Ooh, what size structure was this for? Ah, uh, that's not bad. It's just a little bit short. I think we got a new rocket kit part that was bigger. Yeah, okay. We want it to go up for a bit and then loop. And then we'll have an upper stage SRB that's timed, but it'll have imbalanced fins. So we'll make the center mass imbalanced on this one. And maybe that'll work out. Uh, maybe not a teddy bear. Wood block. So what we're going to do is put a wood block here, which should throw off the center mass, but we'll throw one here, which for this stage will counterbalance it and keep us going steady. 
I think. I know we can use Snap. Don't worry about it. This is more fun anyway. A little element of surprise never hurt anyone. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. I mean, we are going to have drag on those parts, but we're just trying to loop. I think this will loop, but let's see. Up it goes. Uh, 100 meter cam. Oh, no, it's not sufficiently thrown off. Why did we not hear any engines? They'll probably accidentally do a looping. Wow. Um, three kilometers. Is this accidentally the highest I've been? Big booster is pretty big. They'll might ac- yeah, I think it'll- no, it's just going straight down. <laughs> well, somebody mentioned that maybe using these cameras, fancy cameras, will give us better results, but this camera is pointing in the wrong direction. Up oh, and... And it doesn't show the crash cam. That's the best cam, you know. It'll never show us the crash. I'll upload that just to see if the, the camera work is pleasing. Video number 38, fine. I'm sure naming it and everything else has an effect too. Noob combo. Oh, well, it's worth cash. Okay, we need to unbalance it more. Yes, go by comb and try again. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, I need to get that design. Video... They don't sort these in any logical order. It's not by date, it's not by name. <laughs> I'll put the fins like this, I don't know if it's... I'm just trying to cover up the... the drag spots. Alright, we'll see if this works. For loops. It still doesn't give me the sound on this big booster. One loop, loop! Oh, it's just headed straight down. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe the no finned nose cone would be... Wow, that's huge! It's an 11 kilogram finned nose cone. That's crazy. Somebody should give me some sort of challenge for that. Just to launch the darn thing. Still no sound from that one. Come on, loop. Ah, oh, no, you focused on the wrong thing! I hate you. No, don't focus. What do you think we are? SpaceX? <laughs> I mean, why do I want to focus on the booster? Okay, fine. We just need to loop on closer to the ground. Let's just try it like this. I don't know. No? Well, we, we got a trajectory of sorts. Trigger after 0.5 seconds. I don't know. Oh, oh, loop. Hey, hey, I, I saw two loops. Okay, fine. We did it. All right. Stunt. Adult. Is it adult? Having a top altitude of 18 meters means adult? I don't get that one. Flag for inappropriate use of tags? Which use of inappropriate tag? Video removed? Adult. Well, that's not my fault, that's your fault. I thought that was suspicious. Uh, it was pretty hard. Rocket flip. You already got me a different one, a different challenge. Multiple loopings. Okay, yes. Not a problem. Okay, but I, I thought I already had that challenge. Okay, what other challenge is there? They, they just tricked me into using a wrong tag, darn it. Looping, perform two. Well, that should be done before five, I guess. 
I got double this, but delay this one to one second. Okay, let's see if we can do two loops. This is uh, taking us back a bit as far as our complexity, but whatever. Three! We did three. Okay, hope those people don't mind. Okay, monster. For beating looping monster. Well, that should be right. That's not a bad one, right? Using four boosters, okay. Making three loopings. I did that. Did th I'm using that appropriately. Yes, we had a trash part and a PVC part. 10% of its mass consists... I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna trust that one. Take that. 3,000 subs. That's serious money suddenly. But I got a viral tag. Okay. Alright. Well, we can do better. We got three, but... The other one, this robotical one, wants four swivels. We need a bigger body. This is smaller. This gotta be... we've got money now. Gotta be bigger bodies in here somewhere. I should just get all the tubes, shouldn't I? Let's get standard tube. Then I don't... Well, I can see the Y split, splitter, that makes sense to me. That's for two engines, that's good. Individual wings, might try that. Tempted by the space shuttle though. And all engines, of course. We can fit two fuel bottles, that'll help. But we'll need to have a combiner. But I need four swivels. I don't care. I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna try this first. I don't care that I need four swivels. I just want to see about looping and how long this lasts. Okay, this is the first time using the... Uh, I don't think I'm gimbling very well. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I it was it wasn't enough time. I think this isn't properly connected. I think maybe I should shift this down. I'm interested to see whether this engine can boost this rocket, being that it's heavy. Let's see. Yes, I know. Whoa, it's like okay, maybe that's too much gimbal. <laughs> That's too much gimbal. Again, I'm not really trying to fill the challenge right now. I'm just experimenting here. Okay, now we have two fuel tanks. Does that weigh this little guy down enough or not? Okay. Launch. It's still off to one side. And... I can't see enough. Gosh darn it. I, I feel like we need more finage. There it is. Individual wings. Those are still small though. This engine is still sort of doing quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, well, now it's going for a while. But uh, yeah, I wasn't able to control it much. Maybe... More gimbling. Okay, and we need want to shift that to a higher steer speed this time. Okay, build. Well, I'm steering. Uh, we got one loop. Oh shoot. Um. Uh, the steer speed probably needs to be increased. Let's try it with a higher steer speed. Okay, quickly. Quickly. The aerodynamics is too strong. 
Maybe we should make a plane instead. But I think maybe we should try out a different challenge for a little bit and allow, I'll allow myself to think about that. I think we have enough to complexity to try this, maybe? Okay, folks, so here's what I'm thinking. We've got this setup. The decouplers are all going to go at 0.4 seconds, which should be below 50 meters. And hopefully these little nose cones with fins on with those little tiny boosters might be able to get to 100 meters, but I'm not sure. Technically, we will have six independent rockets, I believe. We have a lot of drag, thanks to the open portions of the decouplers. And we could cover that up with greater fins. I'll think about that, but for now we'll try this. I, I mean, I think we have enough available complexity to use the bigger fins on each of those. But let's see what happens here. There's a lot of question marks we've got here. Oh, that's five of them. <laughs> okay, launch. Oh, those decoupled early. Hmm. They all fall off immediately. There's five running rockets below 50 meters though. Let's wait a little bit longer. Two seconds. Okay, let's try this. They don't seem to be going up, do they? I think those little engines are not good enough. I'm just interested at this point how high we can go, or how long we can go with the little engines at the bottom there. They sure don't seem to provide thrust at all. Oh, maybe I'll upload the video. Let me just do it, upload the video. We're not gonna get to 100 meters. Okay. Swarm. Well, that, that is something we did. Five boosters, yes. Giga boost. Sure. Two upward straight parts at the same height. Seems like it. Keyboard happened. All right, so that's all legit. About a thousand now. And why don't we get some extra... Well, we could get some fins for the top of this, but... Maybe, like, a nose cone right there? <laughs> I wonder which side it'll go with. Oh, they aren't... Yeah, they aren't going up at all. Huh. Did the decouplers actually decouple? Maybe they don't decouple either if there's a nose cone on there. Said something about a rare tag. Oh, okay. Let's let's do it. Let's produce the video. Okay. Finish. Upload video. Sewer system. And PVC parts. Snail. Do it yourself. Well, I guess we triggered a decoupler. Well, give the people what they want, I suppose. That was worth a hundred dollars. High thrust over short time or low thrust over long time. So, impulse. But then there's this other number, which is the power. Which with th twice the power will generate twice the thrust for the same amount of fuel. So that's the ISP. For the same amount of fuel. So this is the efficiency, not power. This is the imp total impulse. So this one is more efficient. These two are equally efficient. Hmm. 
unfortunately, so uh, all we have down here, these, these efficiency numbers. The scrap engine has horrible efficiency and the junk engine has much better efficiency. But neither of them tells us the thrust. Or the total impulse, because that's managed by the fuel tanks. Okay. But, I don't know, uh, it doesn't seem like there's any thrust number. Just an efficiency number. Ah, we can't do five of these. Let's see what happens when we do four, then. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, that's very good, isn't it? That's very good. Hmm. I'm amazed uh, considering the drag that the decouplers have, but they did decouple very quickly. Apparently they didn't destabilize these that much. I think that's worth a video anyway. Shoot. Yeah, let's just produce a video of it. That looks pretty... I, I think they're sort of... The middle two seem more connected for some reason. Oh, I forgot to zoom. Not that impressive, apparently. And we'll put lighter ones on the outside, but trigger them later. That keeps us under the complexity limit. Let's see if this works. Or maybe I should have the powerful ones on the outside. Ooh. The powerful ones are super powerful compared to the medium boosters, though. Oh, I should have taken the challenge, too. Nope. Uh, yeah, we need... Maybe don't decouple them so soon. But even so, these little medium boosters are useless when carrying those decouplers with them. The part that they still have attached to them. Okay, well, uh, let's see if we can buy something useful. I don't know. What? I've got so much money. I would like some booster that's less complicated than the twin one. This one. But better than the medium booster. Something in between would have been nice. Small pump. Well, I mean, might as well. Let's get the red smokers. <laughs> Compact engine, 805. And that looks like a proper engine, too. Hmm, hold on. Hold that thought. Well, pumps... Doesn't say what it does, but... Let's see, right click... No, it doesn't let me set a timer or anything, so... The main thing I would have liked with a pump. I don't know. We'll find out the functionality of that some other time. So if we want to do sort of the one that I already know works, we'll need 23 more complexity for that. Can we just buy complexity? I mean... Ah... <sighs> Okay, maybe the liquid fuel version is easier. Let's see. We still need more complexity, though. But let's see what we can do here. And maybe test out with four or something. We need 150. Well, you know, that's pretty darn close. Maybe we can simplify some of the nose cones to make it happen. Are we already accepting a whole lot of drag? Oh, uh, let's have additional drag on the central ones, not on the outer ones. Yeah, it might smush into itself, but let's see. Here we go. Come on, reach high. That was not high enough. Too much drag. Maybe if they separate later? Let's see if this is better or worse.
Need a bigger bench. Well, some bits got pretty high, but the ones that went sideways did not. Okay, maximizing our complexity here. One. Uh, apparently some did not get high enough. But at least we did separate them below 50. I don't know how long we can wait. Let me retry the launch and see how high they separate at. Oh, like 10 meters only. Okay, we should wait a little bit longer. Okay, let's try this. And go! Nice. Okay, we did it! Finally! Phew! Okay, so we don't have to try and get more complexity just for this one. That was a tough one. Alright, finish. Upload. Don't forget to upload. Powerhouse, yes. Cluster. Yes, I beat that. Bloated, we have we had five fuel tanks. We did trigger three different sensors. And it's still a swarm. That didn't get many views though. The tags are worthless. Didn't even get more money than the one that didn't leave the ground. Um, umbrella. Well, that's a parachute. I know a parachute when I see one. If it's if we can trigger it though, it's not a parachute unless we can trigger it, huh? Yep. Pump. Okay, developing rocket technology for Mozambique. Okay, what can I do for you? Awesome. Please tell me how to use it. Yes, I want to do tests. This would be a challenge, right? Happy to help. Faster than your record. Okay, we've got a new challenge and pump research. Small pump, use only one engine, build a rocket with at least 20 kilograms of structural mass, reach that speed within 10 seconds. So okay, but I'll do that next time. I'm satisfied with having done the five independence rocket thing for this time. So yes, that will be our first challenge next time. And so watch for that. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.